Hi everyone. Sorry for the disruption. My name is Mrs. Cheng and I'm the HOD Science. Together with me would be our academic team and the student development team. So in the academic team, we have Ms. Lindy Ong, our HOD Math, Ms. Sim Hui Ting, our HOD Mother Tongue, Madam Kang, HOD Humanities, and Mr. Daniel Yong, the SH for Humanities. And also we have our student development team, Mrs. Wong Shu Xian, our upper set year head, Mr. Stanley Gung, our HOD CCE, Mr. Rizal, our year head for lower sec, Mr. Nanda, assistant year head, Ms. Sarah To, who's the DM and would be the acting year head for the 2021 sec one cohort, and Mr. Jeffrey Quack, our SH for student leadership, and Mr. Xiao Han Qian, SH for PE and CCA. And also, together with us, we have our Vice Principal, Mrs. Chiu Chai Hong, and our Principal, Mr. Daniel Ang. So let us start with some questions that have been posted at our Q&A site. So let's wait a while for the screen to show some of the questions that we have here. While well, we're waiting for uh, the screen to come on, maybe uh, let me address some questions that uh, are frequently asked. Uh, the first question would be, uh, what is our school's PSLE cutoff points for the 2020 SEC 1 cohort? So for Express Stream, it is 225, and for the NA, it is 172, and NT Stream would be 119. That is based on the 2020 SEC 1 cohort. And also some of the questions that are asked would be uh, whether or not our school is affiliated to any junior college. Yes, our school is affiliated to Catholic Junior College, and hence two bonus points will be awarded under the Joint Admission Exercise, uh, JAE, for eligible students who opt for Catholic Junior College as their first or their second choice. So now we are going to share the screen. Now on the screen, you will see that there are two QR codes there. The one on the left, the one on the left will show some of the frequently asked questions uh, that we encounter during the open house. So you can uh, screen over and look at some of the questions and our answers to your questions. And then on the right, uh, if you have some burning questions that are not found in the FAQ, then uh, you can actually also ask us through this Slido. Okay, now, Maybe some, another question that we have would be about mother tongue. So let me invite our HOD mother tongue, Miss Sim, to answer some questions on mother tongue language. Miss Sim, please. Hi, good afternoon, parents. I'm missing here. Missing here, the HOD of mother tongue. So uh, the one of the frequently asked question is whether Hyacinth Catholic offer higher mother tongue. Yes, we do. Okay. So um, we do offer higher mother tongue uh, for Chinese only. So for higher, uh, higher Malay and higher Tamil, the student will need to travel to the uh, designated higher mother tongue centers to take uh, the, the subject. However, uh, our school offer higher Chinese uh, to our students. So the students will be taking the subject uh, within curriculum time in our own school. The criteria for the students to take higher mother tongue, uh, there are actually uh, two sets of students that we will accept. The first set of students are students that are identified by MOE to be eligible to take higher mother tongue. They would be uh, they would have uh, be to be in the top thirty percent of the school uh, the entire uh, cohort, as well as uh, achieving A star in their uh, subject, the mother tongue subject, or uh, married uh, in their higher mother tongue. 
for Haising Catholic, we also have the autonomy to accept our own higher mother tongue students. Our criteria is uh, to also for the child uh, to have an A star in the uh, PSLE mother tongue as well as uh, or uh, married in the higher mother tongue uh, at PSLE. So this is our own criteria. The other question is that if let's say my child doesn't meet the two criteria, the A star in the mother tongue and the uh, married in the higher mother tongue, so uh, whether uh, the child can still be offered, uh, we will assess the child's ability for over a year. So at the end of the set one, if let's say we find that the student uh, is doing very well in the express mother tongue, and then uh, we, uh, the, at the same time, the child is coping well with the rest of the subjects, uh, we will be uh, making an offer to these students to take higher mother tongue at set two level. So um, that don't worry for parents, uh, if let's say your child didn't meet the criteria of, uh, at PSLE, uh, the school will still continue to assess. And if uh, let's say that your child is really performing exceptionally well in the subject and also coping well with the rest of the other subjects, uh, the school will make the offer at the end of SEC 1. Okay, so I'll pass the next question to uh, HOD Science. All right, thank you, Ms. Sim. Now, uh, we also have this question here. What are the subject combinations and criteria for pure science? So for our school, we offer triple pure science and uh, also double pure science. And the double pure science would be pure physics and chemistry and uh, pure bio and chemistry. And we also are one of the few schools that offer a pure science and a combined science combination. So the combination would be pure physics with science, chemistry, bio, or pure bio with science, chemistry, and physics. And the criteria for studying pure science is to obtain 65% and above for English, math, science, as well as the overall percentage. All right, now um, let's see if, uh, go back to our Slido and see if we have any questions that are uh, regarding, pertaining to the student development. So Mrs. Wong Shu-Sien, our year head, will be addressing these questions. Ms. Wong, please. Good evening, parents. I am Mrs. Wong, the year head. So I'll be answering certain questions pertaining to student development. So we have a number of questions about CCA. So let me address them one by one. The first one we have is, do students need to audition for choir? Yes. P6 students will need to audition for choir CCA, which will be done during the CCA exhibition held during the set one CCA orientation that will happen around the 2nd to 4th of January in 2021. Another question that we have about CCA is, how many choices will students be allowed for CCA? P6 students will be allowed three choices for CCA, Another question is whether it is possible for students to sign up for two CCAs. Um, it is not recommended because we would like students to be able to have a holistic education that they are able to manage between their studies and CCA. However, it is on a case-by-case -case basis, largely depending on individual students' ability to cope with their personal time and commitments. We also have a question that ask us what time does school close every day? So for us, our CCA end at about 6 p.m. on each day. So the school will close roughly between 6.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. Okay, we also have this question that just came in. What if your child finds a, a CCA unsuitable? Will your child be allowed to make a switch? Okay, under normal circumstances, one student is assigned to one CCA. If the student finds that the CCA is not suitable after being with the CCA for one year, he or she may request for a change in CCA at the start of the following year. We want students to be able to honor their options and choices for at least one academic year. All right, thank you, Mrs. Wong. Thank you. So now uh, we'll answer a few of the academic questions that have just come in. Ms. Lindy Ong, our HOD Math, will be answering question seven. All 
Hi, hi everyone. I'm Miss Ong here. So we have one question uh, that one parent asks is computer application offered as a subject to express students who are for secondary. Uh, I'm afraid not. For high sync computer application, this subject is offered only to normal technical students. Uh, in fact, it's not only for upper secondary, it's from SEC 1 all the way to SEC 4. So this subject is not offered to the express students. Yeah, I will now pass the next question to Li Shan to answer. It's regarding pure sciences. Okay, thanks, Ms. Ong. Okay, for question eight, how many classes in SEC 3 will be offered pure science and biology? Uh, we have four express classes and uh, there will be one class that has uh, triple pure uh, sciences and uh, is uh, depending on the number of uh, this triple science students who are interested in taking triple science there might also be some students who are doing two of the pure sciences inside and then we have another class that is taking pure physics and pure chemistry which is our most popular pure science combination. And in another class, we will have a pure physics with the combined science, chemistry and bio. And in the fourth class, we have our pure bio and uh, combined physics, chemistry. So these are the uh, combination in our four express classes. Okay, now uh, we have uh, some questions on CCA. So our SH, uh, CCA and PE, Mr. Xiao Han Chen will be answering these questions. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mr. Xiao here. Uh, Mr. Xiao here. I would like to answer two questions that was posted on, uh, the first question is how are students selected for CCA? For this certain CCA, they requires trials that will take place uh, mainly on the CCA exhibition day. That will be the first week of school. So, uh, and the second question, any prerequisite for the robotics club? Ro robotics is one of the CCA that requires selection. So on, uh, on the first week, the, CC the students will be given the CCA option form. So they'll indicate their interest in the CCA and then we will match it with the selection exercise. So if they are selected during for the selection and they also indicate interest in robotics club, then most likely they will be allocated robotics as their CCA. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, all right. Hi, everyone. Okay, I think there's one parent who asked about how many set one express uh, and normal academy and NT classes do we have? Uh, for the year of 2020, right, we have in total four express classes, two normal academic and one uh, normal technical class. So our current uh, spacing for the, for the allocation of students in each class can be packed, can be packed all the way to 40 students per class. Yeah, so for the year 2021, we're really depending, it depends on the posting of the students uh, for, for the next cohort now. But the school is able to offer four express, two NA and uh, one NT class. Yeah, we have also got one, par one parent who asked about um, the cutoff point. Uh, if my child uh, cutoff for express, for example, is 225, sorry, is 223. And looking at the 2020 uh, cutoff point for express is actually 225 based on high cutoff. So, uh, or if not, if let's say a child has slightly above uh, 225 based on 2020 cover point, will he or she be, be, be able, will we be able to confirm a place in high sync? So for the school answer, it really, because the, the cutoff is actually a, a guide, uh, a guide, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a guide for parents to refer to. So the school is not able to give a definite answer. But what we want to say is that if, you're, if, you're, if your child uh, T score is very close to 225, and, and you're very sure that you want to place your child in high sync, then you should place high sync as the first choice. All right. So, with that, we will pass. Uh, yeah, we, I, I'll pass the next question to my colleague, uh, Han Shen, to answer for CCA. Hi, hello. I, I would like to answer a question on is there a restrictions to the number of, mem number of members for Robotics Club? 
So for each CCA, we have a certain number that can be assigned to a CCA, mainly because of the resources available. So yes, there is a restriction to the number, to the number of students that can join the CCA. So to, and the next question, what is the criteria for joining Robotics Club? So as I mentioned earlier, the criteria for joining our Robotics Club is based on two factors. Number one is the selection exercise that was that will be conducted in the first week of uh, the orientation. And second, the second factor will be the student indicating interest in the set one CCA option form. So these are the main two criteria for joining the robotics club. I'd like to pass over to HOD Matt Smith Ong to take over. Okay. All right, we have a question from a parent. Uh, she's asking, are the students allocated, the set one students, are they allocated uh, in set one according to their aggregate scores? Uh, for High Singh, uh, roughly at the current 2020 arrangement, we allocate based on the students' competency in the subject area. Yeah, so it's not based on their T score. Okay. And we have one more question coming in. Uh, my colleague Lishan will answer. Right, there are some questions uh, regarding the robotics, right? Yeah, so um, I think uh, we would like to invite our principal, Mr. Ang, to answer the question, a few questions that are on robotics. Mr. Ang, please. Hi, okay. Thanks, uh, Li Shan. So basically, I can get a sense that there are a lot of questions regarding the criteria. Now, if I might share for robotics, please, uh, specifically since there were so many questions about it the criteria essentially if you were watching the video earlier you would have noticed that they require two big sets of skills to be in robotics one is hand-eye coordination meaning how can you control a, a device uh, and the other is programming so there's no um, requisite but those are the skill sets that are are required for a person who wishes to join and excel in robotics. So we will we will look out for people who are uh, good at such things. There's no prior knowledge that that necessarily is required, but those are the kinds of skills that the CCA tends to train. So uh, those two different groups of things are something that the teachers look out for. If you have the if you have the interest and the pro, uh, and the um, potential to, to learn such things. In general, for CCAs, we pay a lot of attention to interests. I know teachers, uh, sorry, I know parents are concerned about whether they can get in. Uh, the limits referred to by Mr. Xiao, they, they are guides. But I seek parents' understanding that when any CCA gets too large, the opportunities for your child is also affected. So when the school lets any CCA gets too big, uh, for instance, if a particular sports uh, team only requires six people on the court and I have 30 people in the CCA, that would mean that uh, 24 people are not playing while six are. So it is always on balance of such things that we set these limits. Uh, it is to take care of students, their interests, and whether they have enough opportunities to participate. CCAs that are too large, uh, can be a little bit limited in the opportunities because there are many students to rotate to. Okay, so uh, I think that's... I'll hand back over to Ms. Ong, our HOD Mathematics, for the next question. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Baron. There's one question on... Is that uh, subject-based banding in yeah. Ising? Yes, we have. Uh, we have been offering SBB for a couple of years. So uh, for our secondary one students, right, um, who met the, the eligibility to study a subject at a higher level based on their PSLE results, right, they will be issued a letter of offer by MOE through the school on the 22nd of December this year. However, uh, parents, please take note that there is a cap to the offer of maximum only three SBB subjects for each child. Yeah, so that is the uh, catch 22. And we also have a parent who asked, um, what is the promotion criteria for a uh, NT students, a lower set NT students, set one NT to two NA in, I mean, for the next year. So our current arrangement for the school is that if the child um, uh, meet the overall uh, 
percentage of 70% and more, the child will earn the, the eligibility to be lateral transfer to 2NA in the next year. Yeah. Okay, I will pass the... Uh, thank you, Ms. Ong. So now, Ms. Uh, 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 mother tongue will uh, answer a question that is on the Hindi mother tongue in our school before we hand over to HOD, uh, the SH, PE, and CCA on the drama CCA question. Okay, so I'd like to uh, inform parents that uh, we do not offer uh, non tamil in lieu languages in our school. non tamil in lieu uh, languages includes Bengali, Hindi, Gujarati, Punjabi, and Urdu. So uh, these students, they will need to, uh, you will need to register your child at one of the approved NTIL community, community groups for the lessons. And then uh, the, the centers will arrange uh, the lessons for your child uh, outside of curriculum time. So we do not offer the uh, non tamil in new languages uh, within our curriculum time. Okay. So now I will pass the time over to uh, SHP, Mr. Xiao, to answer uh, questions on drama. Hi, everyone. Okay, I would like to answer three questions. The first question is, what is the audition like for choir if you have no experience in choir? So for choir audition, it is basically uh, on voice projection to make sure that the students can project their voice and also that the students are they are able to differentiate the different tone so if the student does not have any experience it will not affect the selection outcome so that is on the audition for choir the next question is about uh, does Haising support drama CCA or focus on robotics? I would like to reassure all parents that we do not only focus on robotics. Instead, we have we support all CCAs. Okay, there are resources available to support all CCAs and not only robotics. Oh. Okay, that. Uh, okay, there's one more question on the. Discipline. What is what is the discipline like in school? So we like to answer this question. We have a positive discipline environment in our school. Now I'd like to hand over to uh, Yahid, Mrs. Wong, to take over. Hi, good evening, parents. So we have two particular questions here about the school hours and gate dismissal. So one of the questions is about the reporting time and the dismissal time for students. So students are expected to report to school before 7.30 a.m. However, due to COVID situation, there might be staggered reporting time and we will update parents accordingly. Um, as on general, students are inside one, they usually dismiss about 2 p.m. or so. However, if there are CCAs, then they will be dismissed at 6 p.m. that day. For gate dismissal, students will be dismissed from the main gate and there is a side gate beside our main gate that faces the HDB blocks near to us. Then now there is a question about requirement for archery CCA. Question for the requirement for archery CCA. Uh, as of last year, we have we no longer accept set one student into, into archery CCA as we are facing out the CCA. So there isn't any set one intake for archery. All right, then we have a question here about the handphone policy for students. In Haising, we are very clear that we want students to have more interaction with one another. So we have a no handphone policy for students starting 2021, where students are to put away their phones when they're studying in Haising. And we hope to have the support of parents in this as well. Thank you. Okay, uh, our principal, Mr. Ang, will be adding on to that. Mr. Ang, please. Right, so I, I, if you're joining us next year and, and, and coming into uh, helping your child uh, recover a little bit from the effects of the circuit breaker is very important to us. Now, when we observe students um, after circuit breaker and during this period where safe management measures are 
are in place, we observe that whenever they sit down alone, they take out a handphone and they use it, and instead of interacting at some distance. So what we feel is that uh, too much screen time is unhealthy. Uh, it is not simply a discipline issue. It is a matter of well-being because uh, you will have electronic proximity but social and physical distance. You sit next to somebody, you don't talk to them, you take our phone and you use it. So we are determined to help to address this issue. I think it is an issue that even parents would have observed. Uh, and because of that, we hope that parents can support us in this journey. This is also consistent with ministry because next year uh, every school will come on board the PDLP one-to-one -one, uh, learning device program. So if you imagine that uh, there will be time in the classroom where they are on a laptop device looking at a screen already, time outside of during time outside of class in the canteen during recess time and during their free time we really would like to limit how much more they look at their phones so i say again if you are joining us i hope that you can support us because this is not simply a policy this is something that is uh, about student well-being and what is good for the long-term development of the child thank you i'll hand back over to uh, Mrs. Cheng, is it? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ang. Okay, now due to the interest of time, we'll be ending this session quite soon. So we're just uh, going to answer the last, very last few questions uh, in this few minutes. Now the first question is on an uh, art program in our school. We have our general art for two years. It's a two-year general art program for set one and set two. And we also offer art elective for the NA and NT art. Now, another question is uh, whether or not all our SEC3 students offer uh, um, A math. Now, um, in order to study A math, the criteria would be they, that they should get 65% uh, and above for their mathematics. All right, now uh, one very last question uh, that will be answered for today's session uh, would be by Ms. Uh, Sim Huiting, our HOD mother tongue. It is on the MSP that is offered in Haising. Whether or not we offer MSP in Haising and are the lessons held in our school. Ms. Sim, please. Okay, uh, MSP uh, is only held at designated zonal centres. So if let's say your child is successful in the application to take a third language and MSP is offered, the child will be taking MSP at Tampanese Secondary School. It is out of curriculum time. Your child will need to travel to Tampanese on the designated days of these zonal centres for their lessons. So um, it will not be held in Haising Catholic School. And uh, I also see one question on foreign language, French. So if let's say your child is, uh, has already applied for a mother tongue in Liu in primary school, in secondary school, they can apply to take lessons with MOELC. However, your child after the application is approved because there are vacancies limit. So um, the, the priority will go to the students who are taking uh, French as a third language. So uh, if let's say there are any vacancies left, then they will inform us that uh, your child uh, can uh, take the lessons. However, before your child is enrolled to the school, they will have to do a readiness test. It doesn't mean that uh, once we put up the, uh, the application, your child will get it. The child, if let's say they deem that the, your child level is uh, not uh, enough, uh, you, you still have to do a private study instead of going to MOE LC Newton. Okay, I hope this answers uh, all the questions. Thank you, Ms. Sim. Now, we have come to the end of our virtual open house. A very big thank you to all of you who have made time to join us today over Zoom. And uh, don't worry about uh, your questions not being answered. We will be collating the questions and the answers and publish them on our school website. Now, please feel free to leave the meeting now and have a great evening. Thank you.